Hi guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, our topic is all about Matrix. So guys, what is a matrix? Matrix is a rectangular array of real numbers arranged in M rows and N columns. For example guys, say matrix A. So ang setup ng matrix guys is inside the bracket. So yung mga elements natin, yung mga numbers, these are real numbers nasa loob ng bracket. So if this is our bracket here, so pwede guys na ganito. Sometimes it's, it's like this. Uh, it's a uh, parenthesis, but I prefer this guy. So anyway, you can use any of those. Inside this bracket are elements. For example, here meron tayong say 1, 0, let's say 0, 2. This is a rectangular array. Bakit siya rectangular? Because meron tayong row and column. So in this matrix guys, matrix A, ang column natin is your vertical. So this is your column, vertical, okay? So, this contains, we have here two columns. And we have here your horizontal, this what we call as rows. So, the order of this matrix is a 2 by 2 matrix. So, ang row natin guys is denoted by M. Ang columns is N. This matrix is in order M by N. Kahit sa calculator natin guys, kung punta ta, puntahan natin yung uh, matrix here, so 6, so let's say matrix A, naka M by N. So, ibig sabihin guys, yung M is your row and N is your column. So, yun ang order ng matrix natin guys. In matrix, may sinusolve tayo what we call the determinant. So, ang determinant guys is a scalar calculated from a square matrix. Now guys, let us visualize first what a matrix is. Kasi guys, ang importante when you are solving is not all about the numbers. It's all about the insight. Kung paano natin ma-visualize yung problem. So most of the time guys, sa college, hindi talaga siya masyadong dinidiscuss. But here, let me give you an overview kung paano natin i-visualize yung matrix. So ang matrix natin guys, kung babalikan natin yung vectors, ginamit natin siya in uh, using the x, y, and z coordinates. So, this one zero here, guys, can be represented as a coordinate. So, gawa tayo ng Cartesian plane. So, here, we have here 1, 0. So, this is your i, j, kung 3, may k tayo. So, that is a 3-dimensional. So, here, 1, 0. Plot natin, guys. So, this is 1. So, x. So, this is 1, 0. Now, ito, guys, 0, 2. So, we have here 0 for x, then 2 for why? So, this is 0, 2. Now, this boundary here, guys, is actually the determinant of our matrix. So, this is a rectangular array. Etong numbers na to, guys, can be represented using this figure. So, the area of this bounded figure is your determinant. So, what is the process of finding the determinant? For example, here guys, meron tayong 2 by 2 matrix. So, we just multiply this. So, this is 1 times 2. So, ang determinant of matrix A, you have here 1 times 2. So, next is minus. You have here minus 0 times 0. So, that is the process of solving the determinant of a matrix. Yung scalar na mga calculate natin from a square matrix. So, ibig sabihin guys, yung determinant can only be solved using square matrix. So, dapat equal yung M sa N. Dapat yung column and row are equals. So, 2 by 2, 3 by 3, 4 by 4, 5 by 5, and so on are all square matrix. So, here guys, ang determinant natin here is 2. So, using graphical, you can say that yung area nito, so, gamitan natin ng geometry, of course, ito, this is 1, so this is 2, so 1 times 2, ang area niya is... 2 then. So, the area bounded by these two coordinates here is actually your determinant. So, yun guys. Ma-visualize natin yung matrix using this plane. So, kung 3-dimensional guys, magkakaroon ka dito ng tatlong values. So, sa matrix guys, meron tayong tinatawag na matrix operation. So, basically, meron tayong addition of matrix, subtraction of matrix, multiplication of matrix, and division of matrix. 
So first guys, punta tayo sa addition of matrix. So when you're adding matrix, for example here we have A. Matrix A natin is a 3 by 3 matrix. So basically guys, meron tayong 3 rows, 3 columns. So I repeat guys, yung ating row is your horizontal, yung vertical is the column. So we have here 1, negative 3, we have here 5, 6, 0, 3. Negative 3, negative 2, negative 8. So this is a 3 by 3 matrix. So we have here 3 rows. And we have here 3 columns, the vertical. So, matrix B is... So, pag nag add tayo guys, hindi pwedeng magkaibang size nila. So, we have here 0. So, we have negative 2, 6, 2, 1, 7. And we have here 4, negative 2, 9. It's dapat equal yung size nila. So, A plus B. So, matrix A plus matrix B. So, basically guys, yung mga elements natin is... I-add natin siya. For example, here, ito. So, from, we have here row 1 and column 1. You have here 1 plus 0. You have here 1 plus 0. Then, negative 3 plus negative 2. So, this is negative 3 plus negative 2. So, you have here 5 plus 6. 5 plus 6. And here, we have 6 plus 2. So, 6 plus 2. So, basically guys, ina-add lang natin lahat ng elements. Yung magka-tapat na elements. So, we have here 0 plus 1. So, 0 plus 1. We have here 3 plus 7. So, 3 plus 7 here. So, we have here negative 3 plus 4. So, we have negative 2 plus negative 2. And here, we have negative 8 plus 9. Now, i-simplify lang natin to guys. So, simplifying guys, you have here A plus B. So, yung kalalabasan niya guys is of course 3 by 3 matrix din. So, you have here 1. So, negative 3 minus 2, that is negative 5. You have here 5 plus 6, 11. You have here 6 plus 2, 8. 0 plus 1, that is 1. 3 plus 7, that is 10. You have here negative 3 plus 4, that is 1. We have here negative 2 plus negative 2, that is negative 4. We have here negative 8 plus 9, that is 1. So, this is A plus B. So, what about kay subtraction? So, pag subtraction guys, minus tayo, same lang process. So, we have here A minus B. Say so A minus B, gagawin natin, minus natin siya. We have here 1 minus 0. So, that is 1. We have here negative 3 minus negative 2. So, that is negative 1. So, negative 3 minus negative 2. So, basically guys, negative 3. So, ito, negative times negative, positive. So, negative 3 plus 2. So, that is negative 1. So, we have here 5 minus 6. So, that is negative 1. So, we have here 6 minus 2. So, that is 4. Then, we have here uh, 0. Minus 1. So, we have here negative 1. And we have here 3. Minus 7. So, that is negative 4. Then, we have here negative 3. Minus 4. So, that is negative 7. And we have here negative 2. Minus negative 2. So, that is 0. So, we have here negative 8 minus 9. That is negative 17. So, that's how you add and subtract matrix. So, what about multiplication? Punta tayo guys multiplication of matrix. So, the rule in multiplying matrix is that the left hand side, for example here, A times C. So, the left hand side should have equal number of columns the number of rows of the right hand side matrix for example guys kung ang a matrix natin matrix a is actually a 2 by 3 matrix dapat yung ating matrix c is a 3 by 2 matrix so eto guys uh, dapat yung you have here the column the column of matrix a the left hand side should be equal to the row 
of the right hand side matrix. So, ganun guys yung pag multiply ng matrix. For example here, so mas maganda guys yung explanation if we are going to solve more problems. For example here, meron tayong matrix A that is 2, 4, 1, negative 3, you have your negative 1 that is 5. And we have here matrix B that is negative 4, you have here 1, 3, you have here negative 1, 2, and 5. Ito guys, pwede natin siya i-multiply because the number of columns here, so 2, you have here 2 columns. And so matrix B, we have here 2 rows. So you have 2 columns, we have here 2 rows. So equal sila, pwede mo silang i-multiply. Now, so A times B, is equal to, so you have here, i-copy lang natin guys yung 2 for 1, so yung column ng matrix A is multiply natin guys sa first element ng matrix B, so you have here 2 for 1, so negative 4 times negative 4, yun, then i-add natin yung kabilang column, so plus, you have here negative 3, then, you add natin yung remaining element dun sa column ng B. So, you have here negative 1. So, plus, we have here negative 1 times negative 1. So, you have here plus so neg uh, 5 times negative 1. Then, we will repeat this, guys, all throughout the matrix. So, ito, isang element, ito, isang element, then, proceed tayo, guys, dun sa kabilang column for matrix B. So, i-copy lang natin lahat guys. So, ito. We have here 2, 4, 1. So, times. Dito naman tayo mag-focus. So, 1. Ito, times 1 ulit. So, 1. Then, plus. So, negative 3. Then, second. Column tayo. Dito. So, 2. Then, we have here plus. Then, we have here. So, negative 1. Times 2. Plus, we have here 5 times 2. So, hindi nagkasya guys. Dapat uh, 3 by 3 matrix siya. So, dito na lang sa kabila. So, yung kadugtong niya guys is doon naman tayo sa third column of B. So, same lang guys. Same process. Copy. We have here 2. For 1, we have here negative 3. Negative 1. We have here 5. Then, multiply natin yung remaining. So, that is 3. So, 3 times 3 times 3. Then, the remaining, we have here 5. So, this is plus. We have here 5. Then, simplify natin, guys, yung matrix. So, ulitin natin, guys, no? Yung first column ng first matrix, kasi ito, guys, A, B. So, first matrix natin, left hand side is A. So, yung first column niya, i-copy lang natin din. I-multiply natin, guys, yung first element ng first column din ng B. Lahat. Then, i-add natin yung second column naman. Then, i-multiply natin yung second element of your first column. So, negative 1. Then, repeat the step hanggang maubos yung column ng second or yung right hand matrix. So, i-simplify natin, guys. We have your A, B. Apply natin yung algebra natin. You have here, so this is negative 8. You have here plus 3. So that is negative 5. You have here, this is 2 minus 6. So that is negative 4. So we have this, so 6 minus 15. So that is negative, so negative 9. So we have here 4 times negative 4, negative 16 plus 1, so that is negative 15. So sub lang natin lahat, we have here, so this is 4 minus 2. So we have here 2, so this is 12 minus 5, so this is 7. So here we have negative 4 minus 5, so this is negative 9. Here we have 1 plus 10, so this is 11. So for this, so last, we have here 3 plus 25. So, this is 28. So, that is how you multiply matrix. So, ang pagbabasa natin guys, of course, yung left hand side palagi. So, ang rule, ulitin natin guys, 
the left hand side matrix column should be equal to the right hand matrix row. Example here, we have two columns, dapat yung right hand side matrix, dapat meron siyang dalawang row din. So ito, dalawa. So 1, 2. So therefore, you can multiply this. Hindi masatisfy yung condition guys, of course, hindi mo siya pwedeng i-multiply. Okay? Now let's go to the division of matrix. So before we proceed to the concept of the division of matrix, let's first discuss some fundamental concept. The first concept is the transpose of matrix, the cofactor of an entry of matrix, the cofactor of a matrix, and your inverse matrix. So ito guys, when you say transpose uh, of matrix, for example, meron tayo here, ito. So kung transpose of matrix guys, pagpapalit-palitin lang natin yung row and column. For example, the transpose of matrix A. So, A exponent T yung symbol niya. Column natin here, gawin natin row. So, that is 10, 8, 8. So, you have here 3, negative 2, 1. So, this is 10, 9, negative 10. So, this is the transpose. So, pagpapalit-palitin lang guys yung row and column. So, that is your transpose. So, what about the cofactor of an entry of matrix? Itong element, guys, can be uh, expressed in symbols. For example, A, that is 1, say 1, or may comma. So, wag natin lagyan ng comma. So, ang ibig sabihin nito, guys, yung element from the first row and first column. So, ano yun? So, that is 10. Okay? So, that is the notation. Let's say, second row, third column. So, ano yun? So, punta tayo, guys, ng second row. So, we have here 1, 2. Ito. Then, third column. So, ito yung third column. So, ano yung intersection? So, this. So, 9. 9 yung element sa second row, third column. So, ganun guys yung notations natin. So, here, ito yung sign convention natin guys. So, kung 3 by 3, you have here. So, this is plus, minus, so plus, Minus, plus, you have here minus, plus, minus, and plus. So, ito guys, kailangan natin siya. For example here guys, what is the cofactor of the first row, first column? So, that is 10. So, ang nangyari guys, i-cross out lang natin. Okay? Now, sample here, this is, so, i-cross out natin siya. Then, yung remaining. Kuhin natin, guys, yung determinant nito. So, finding the determinant, so, yung cross method lang. First row, first column, you have here, positive siya. So, plus. So, yung cofactor of the first row, first column. So, you have here, 10. So, that is plus times yung determinant nito. So, you have here, negative 2 times negative 10. That is 20 minus, you have here 9. So, this is equal to, you have plus. Yung position niya here is positive. You have here 20 minus, so 9. So, we have here positive 11. Okay. So, therefore, we have here the cofactor of the first row. First column is 11. So, yun yung cofactor niya. So, kung 3 naman guys, say 3. 3 tayo. 3. Ito yung 3. So, yung natira, ito, itong dalawa. Ito yung hindi na-cross out. So, you have here. So, yung sign niya is, you have here, negative. So, that is the cofactor of the first row, second column. So, that is So, first row, second column. So, that is 3. So, negative siya dito guys. So, negative so, ano yung determinant na yan? So, itong dalawa yung hindi na cross out. So, i-cross mo siya. Then, itong dalawa yung natira. Kuhin mo yung determinant nito. So, yung position niya guys, so negative. So, we have here negative. So, kuhin natin yung matrix niya. So, this is 8, 8. So, ito yung na cross out natin. So, this is, dito tayo magbase ng ating uh, determinant. So, you have here 8 times negative 10. So, this is negative 80. So, you have here minus. So, this is 8 times 9. So, that is 72. So, you have here positive 152. So, the cofactor of the first row, second column, 
you have here 3 is 1, 5, 2. So, that's how you find the cofactor. Is kailangan kasi natin guys yung cofactor if you are dealing with the quotient or division of matrix. So, ito guys yung sign conventions natin. So, magkakalimutan guys yung sign convention. So, kung hindi natin ma-memorize yung arrangement niya, dito na lang tayo magbase of course. Ito, this is first row, first column. So, first row, so 1 plus 1, so 2. If even, positive. Ito, this is first row, second column. So, this is add, negative. So, here we have first row. First row, that is first row and you have your third column. So, that is 4. So, even. Therefore, this is positive. So, ganun guys yung sign convention natin using numerical method. Now, let's go to the concept of cofactor of matrix. So, ang cofactor of matrix, guys, basically, kukunin natin lahat ng cofactor of the individual and gagawin natin siyang matrix. For example, here, meron tayong next example. So, yung matrix natin, say matrix, but here, kukunin natin, guys, yung cofactor matrix, hindi na yung individual. So, basically, guys, yung cofactor of matrix, kukunin natin yung individual, then gagawin natin siyang matrix. example, here, we have here yung ating 3 by 3. So, 10, 3, 10, you have here 8, negative 2, so 9, so 8, 1, negative 10. So here, A. So the cofactor, so cofactor of matrix A. So isa-isay natin guys, no? So we have here yung 10. So for 10, we have here A, 1, 1. First row, first column. So, that is positive, guys. So, we have here even. So, first column, first row. So, 1 plus 1. So, 2. That is even. So, positive. You have here. Kung i-cross out natin to guys, ito yung matitira. Here. So, that is negative 2 times negative 10. So, that is 20 minus 9. So, we have here 11. Okay. So, for the... First row, second column, that is, so, 3. So, ito yung cross out natin. So, ito yung matitira, here. So, we have this and this. So, 8 times negative 10. So, that is negative 80. So, this is negative, guys, yung sign convention natin. So, this is negative. You have here 8 times negative 10, that is negative 80. Minus, you have here 8 times 9. That is 72. We have here positive 1, 5, 2. So let's proceed here. First row, third column. So if you cross out this, so first row, third column, we cross out natin to guys. So positive yung sign convention dito. So we have here 8 times 1, so 8. Minus, so 8 times negative 2. So, this is negative 16. So, you have here 8 plus 16. So, 24. So, this is positive 24. So, doon tayo guys sa second row, first column. So, yung second row, first column natin is, you have here the 8. So, this is, so second row, so 1, 2. Then, first column here. So, ito yung intersection 8. So, if this intersects here, so 8, ito yung natira. We have here 3 times negative 10 and minus 1 times 10. So, this is yung sign convention nyo guys is, so this is plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. So, this is negative. So, we have here 3 times negative 10. So, negative 30 minus, we have here 1 times 10. So, this is 10. So, we have here positive 40. Now, let's go to second row, second column. So, second row, second column is we have here negative 2. So, I cross out natin to guys. Here, cross out this. Yung matitira is ito. So, 10 times negative 10. So, that is negative 100. Okay. So, yung sign niya here is positive. So, plus. This is... 10 times negative 10, negative 100 minus, you have here 8 times 10, so that is 80. 
So, we have here negative 180. So, kinukuha lang natin guys yung cofactor ng lahat ng element. Then, gagawin natin siyang matrix. So, for you have your second row, third column. So, this is plus, minus, plus, minus. So, this is negative. Then, cross out natin ulit. So, kung ito yung cross out natin here, yung matitira is itong dalawa. So, 10 and 3. We have here 8 and 1. So, we have here 10 times 1, 10 minus 8 times 3. So, that is 24. So, 10 minus 24. So, this is so negative 14 times negative. So, positive 14. So, mag-ingat tayo guys sa mga sign convention. So, importante yan. So, let's go to the third row naman tayo guys. We have here third row, first column. So, we have here 8. So, ito yung third row, first column. So, 8. Then, cross out natin ulit guys. Cross out din. Ito yung natira. Find the determinant of this. So, yung 8 natin. So, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. Positive. Here, plus. You have here, ang determinant ito. So, 3 times 9. So, 27. Minus, you have here, negative 2 times 10. So, simplifying guys. You have here, 27 plus 20. So, this is positive 47. Now, let's go to third row, second column. So, you have here 1. So, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, negative. We have here, if you cross out this, ito yung matitira. So, you have here 10, 8, then 10, 9. So, 10 times 9. So, 90. Minus, so 8 times 10. So, we have here 80. So, you have here negative 10. So, for the third row, third column. So, last. Last na guys, ito. Cross out natin here. Natira is itong dalawa. So, you have here 10 times negative 2. So, sign convention. Important guys. So, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. So, this is positive. So, plus we have here. So, 10 times negative 2, negative 20. Minus, so 8 times 3, that is 24. So, you have here, negative 20 minus 24. So, this is negative 44. Then, yung cofactor of the matrix, papalitan natin guys ng mga cofactor of each individual. So, gawin natin matrix lahat ng cofactor. So, the cofactor of matrix A. So, medyo mahaba lang guys yung solution niya, pero paulit-ulit lang naman yung process. You have here, the cofactor of a is equal to, so just copy the cofactor of each individual matrix. So we have here, so first column, first row, 11, you have here 1, 5, 2, so 24, 40, you have here negative 180, so 14, 47, negative 10, and negative 44. Okay, so next concept guys is what we call the classical adjoint. So classical adjoint is just the transpose of your cofactor. So, it's all about the terminology, guys. So, the classical adjoint of A, so A, D, J, is equal to the transpose of its cofactor. So, kung nakuha na, guys, yung cofactor, pagpalit-palitin lang natin siya. So, we have here 11. So, yung row, gawing column. So, you have here 11, 40, 47. You have here 152, negative 180, negative 10. You have here 24. 14, then negative 44. So, yun guys. So, this is the classical adjoint. Let's go to our last concept here. Inverse matrix. So, dito na guys. Ma-realize nyo kung bakit natin kinukuha yung etong mga fundamental properties of matrix. So, pag sinabi guys na inverse matrix, it is the transpose of the cofactor of that matrix divided by its determinant. For example, here, nakuha natin kanina yung inverse of matrix A. So, that is in symbol A raised to negative 1. So, that is equal. So, the transpose of cofactor or yung classical adjoint ng A all over determinant nung A. So, 
Kinuha natin tong concept guys because if you're dividing matrix, for example, meron kang dalawang matrix A divided by B. This is just equal to A times B raised to negative 1. Ibig sabihin, if you are dividing matrix, you will just multiply the inverse of your denominator. So, pumunta pa rin tayo guys sa multiplication. Basically, yung division is just multiplication pero yung denominator natin is kukuha natin yung inverse niya. Para makuha yung inverse, kukuha natin yung cofactor. Then yung cofactor i-transpose natin. Then i-divide natin sa determinant. So yun guys, yung paghanap ng inverse. So yung a natin guys, so a 3 by 3 siya, kukuha natin yung determinant ng 3 by 3 matrix. So 10 8 8 you have here 3, negative 2, 1. You have here 10, 9, negative 10. Now, ang pass guys, find the determinant. For finding the determinant, you have here A. So, you arrange natin guys. Gawin natin, you have here. So, 10, 8, 8, 3, negative 2, 1. You have here 10, 9, negative 10. Then, i-copy natin yung first two columns. So, this is 10, 3. You have here 8 negative 2, you have here 8, 1. Then, ito, nakakross yan. Cross, i-cross natin to. We have here this element. We have here this. And we have this. Okay. So, i-multiply natin lahat yun, guys. So, equals. We have here 10 times negative 2 times negative 10. So, we have here plus. We have here 3 times 9 times 8 plus you have here 10 times 8 times 1 then nakagrouping yun guys then i-minus natin yung doon naman tayo sa kabila we have here this ito you have this you have this and you have this so tatlo you have here 8 times negative 2 times 10 plus 1 times 9 times 10 plus negative 10 times 8 times 3. So, yung left side natin guys, you have your 8 times negative 2 times 10. So, you have your 8 times negative 2 times 10. So, plus you have your 1 times 9 times 10. You have your plus negative 10 times 8 times 3. So, determinant of A is equal to, we have here, to simplify natin guys, yung other side, so 10, so yung left side is 4, 9, 6, so minus yung right side, we have here, so negative 310, so determinant of matrix A is actually equal to, you have your 806, so this is the determinant of matrix A. So, the inverse of matrix A is equal to your classical adjoint of the transpose or the transpose of the cofactor of A divided by its determinant, determinant of A. That's the inverse. So, bakit natin kailangan ng inverse? Because if you are dividing, let's say, B divided by A, matrix B divided by matrix A, that is just equal to B times uh, gamitin natin guys yung concept of multiplying that is times the inverse of matrix A yung bago makuha yung inverse guys punta ka ng cofactor kunin mo yung transpose ng cofactor then kunin mo yung determinant of the matrix so i-divide mo lang you have here the inverse then yung inverse i-multiply mo sa numerator so ganun guys yung pag-divide ng matrix you can try that out so, those are the fundamental concept in dealing with matrix. So, ganun lang guys, i-familiarize natin yung process of solving. So, it's better to practice solving more problems. Kasi ang ganitong problem guys are actually mahaba yung solution nya but you can do this by practicing. So, mahaba yung solution but repetition yung nangyayari. For example, cofactor, kukunin mo lang yung cofactor ng each element then papalitan mo lang siya guys. So, it's very important. So, kung uh, addition or subtraction lang, madali lang siyang gawin. But when you are dealing with multiplication, 
your matrix should confirm to the loss in order for you to multiply the matrix. So, yung law guys, ulitin natin, dapat yung left hand side matrix, ang column niya is equal to the number of rows of the right hand side matrix. So, kung hindi yan makonfirm guys, you cannot multiply a matrix. So, tanda na natin guys, addition, matrix, subtraction of matrix, multiplication of matrix, and division of matrix. Sa division of matrix, ito yung property natin here. So, B divided by A is equal to B times the inverse of A. Paano makuha yung inverse guys? Punta ka ng cofactor. Kuha mo yung cofactor of A. So, yung medyo mahabang process. So, after finding the cofactor of A, i-transpose mo yung cofactor. So, this transpose of cofactor is also known as your classical adjoint. And after you find your classical adjoint, i-divide mo siya guys sa determinant. That's the time makuha mo yung inverse. Then, balik ka dun sa original problem. I-multiply mo siya dun sa matrix na numerator. So, that's how you divide matrix. So, yun guys yung mga fundamental concept in matrix. So, lumalabas to guys sa board exam. So, you need to uh, actually master uh, this topic. Anyway, meron naman tayong calculator technique guys which I will discuss after or after we finish yung advanced math. So, after this guys, yung last topic natin guys is Laplace transform. After that, proceed na tayo guys sa statics. So, see you guys and I hope that you finish this review. So, sa lahat ng review guys, good luck to you. Sana ma mapasan nyo yung board exam and I hope that you are learning from my videos. Sana makatulong to sa inyo. And of course, yung Facebook page natin guys, i-follow nyo siya. And don't forget to subscribe on this channel. Thank you guys. See you and God bless. Stay safe, future engineers.